next time on Dragon Ball Z. Strengthening my ass muscles just to be able to sit still for the okay. time it's going to take. And then also, I have no idea how my brain will behave, my, how my mind will behave, just sitting still and playing for that long. <laughs> and now for something completely different. Exactly. I can't wait to ruin Classic WoW. It's gonna be great. Wait, what do you mean you can't wait? You already have. True. True, dude. True. Okay, let's go. Okay, this is the video I saw in the classic forums. I was gonna watch this. Okay, here we go. Playing video games has always meant more than anything to me. Games have been the place where I've been able to build a special identity for myself and express myself differently. Okay. In real life, I'm competitive, very performance orientated, and I always got my goals set. Okay. But in gaming, I've always been quite casual instead of trying to achieve things. In gaming, the main things for me that. have been all the incredible experiences I've had and all the awesome people I've had the chance to get known. Oh, wow. With. Some of them I've even seen in real life, for which I'm really grateful. But this time, I'm going to put my real life mindset into gaming. This time, my goals are clear. It will be only what about achieving fuck? things fast and going as far from cash as possible. Is that actually him? Welcome to my maximum gaming challenge, the Shape of Classic. Okay. Morest, I'm Shade. I'm a 25 years old Finnish guy who runs three companies, one marketing agency, okay. one fishing company, or well, at least on paper, okay. and one gaming lounge, which is located here in Helsinki, Finland. All right. This guy I does a lot of shit. I also my life with all different kinds of hobbies, for example, playing tin flute, doing sports, Okay. Doing esports and doing all kinds of stuff in nature. But this is a normal guy. Has always been, and I'm pretty sure it will always be, gaming. That's right. And more precisely, this one game, yes, you guessed right, World of Warcraft. Okay. Okay. A brief history about me and WoW. I first started playing with myself 13th of April in 2006. It's the same time as me. Our first internet connection last night, and my school didn't start until 10 a.m. that morning, so I decided to play a couple of hours before going to school, because obviously I couldn't wait for the afternoon. Makes sense. Nevertheless, I had been watching my friend playing WoW for the past around six six months, because their family already had the game, and he had big brother who was playing the game, and he also started to play the game. So basically, okay. for the past six months. Before getting the game myself and before getting the internet connection What are you gonna myself, do? I was sitting on my friend's place every day after school for three to four hours just I can't increase the volume. It's as loud and as it I'm can go. I really want to, wanting to play myself, but I didn't have the chance yet. I've been playing the game for on and off around 13 years now. I have never been really that much into hardcore raiding or hardcore PvP because I've always had different things going on in my life. But Big excuses. I've always enjoyed challenging myself in some kind of solo way for example doing the insane yeah, 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 yeah. oh come on dude that shit was easy yeah. what do you mean for example getting real first level 90 oh so wow and okay i thought that serious I need to do some kind of challenge for myself all right classic as well the idea to make this series came actually from Reddit, and more precisely from the subreddit of Classic WoW. If you're going to uh -oh. play the game and you have never visited that uh -oh. subreddit, you should do it, because it's a really cool place. But nevertheless, uh, I was browsing Reddit, and I have seen countless of threads and comments about people sharing their ways, how they are getting back into the game we all love so much. Good. For example, people have, people have told their friends, their families, their SOs, that they are getting back into gaming and back into playing WoW. Then some have even taken some vacation for the launch launch week. That's not even a big deal. A couple of weeks during the launch. That, that's not even a big deal. I intentionally like fucked up an interview so I could start playing Mists of Pandaria earlier and I wouldn't have to worry about having a job at the same time as the expansion coming out. Like these are casuals, okay? To be honest, none of this really felt enough for me. No. I really wanted to do something to honor all the no lives 
who have dedicated their lives for WoW for the past 15 years. Okay. Then I really wanted to honor the community somehow as well, because I really feel that community has, has had such a crucial part of pushing Blizzard to actually make Classic WoW possible. Obviously. And then, last but not least, I really wanted to do something to honor the game, because I know that the game is gonna be awesome. And then, browsing Reddit one day, I saw this picture. I'm not gonna read love for you. You can feel free to pause over here. What the fuck is this? Itself. But yeah, let's get back into it. See, this so what are you gonna do? Really clarified for me that this is exactly something I need to do. I need to go hardcore. I need to go beyond. I need to go to the maximum. And that is exactly what I'm going to do with the upcoming Classic Wall. Okay, My here we go. It's quite simple. When the Classic Wall comes out, I will be playing on our gaming lounge and I will not leave the lounge until I hit level 60. I will be just playing, grinding, leveling, wow. until I hit the max level and doing nothing else. Uh... I will not see the sunlight, although we in Finland so it would be the case anyways. Okay. I will not see any friends. I will do nothing Good. but play Good. and maybe sleep a couple of hours here and there until my challenge is done. Of course. I have always wanted to feel how it is really to have no life at all and now it's finally my time. And all this might sound quite easy for some of you. Just playing for, I don't know, eight or nine days, what's the big deal about it? Well, <laughs> at least for me, it's not going to be that easy. I've been only playing for maybe one or two hours a day nowadays because there's so much other things going on in the life. And just the sitting process, just sitting still for eight or, eight or nine days is going to be really hard for me. No, it's not, I really trust need me. need to do some workout. It's very easy. To strengthen my core body, to strengthen my neck muscles to strengthen my of course strengthen, that's really hard to say if you're thin strengthen my <laughs> ass muscles just to be able to sit still for okay. the time it's going to take and then also i have no idea how my brain will behave my how my mind will behave just sitting still and playing for that long because at the moment as i said i'm not playing that much anymore and i have a lot of other things going on so more excuses it's be interesting to see what happens and to be able to do this, I really need to be prepared. I've divided the preparation. This is not even a big deal. Like this, this seems casual to me so far. And things inside Azeroth. And if somebody doesn't know Azeroth, it's the world of the world of Warcraft. You have to go deeper. The preparing outside Azeroth is going to happen on two main areas. First okay. one being my physical well-being, and second one being my mental well-being. His nose. Listen, the nose is not that big, guys. Just relax about the fucking nose. The nose is fine. Give it a break. It's not his fault. The physical well-being is divided into three subcategories. First one being sports and being okay. my like actual physical shape. Second one being food, other things and yeah, yeah, obviously and consume during the leveling process. Okay. And third one being sleep and how to get enough but not too much sleep. The aim of the physical well-being and physical preparation is to be in the best possible condition and in in the best possible shape to be able to level up as efficiently and as focused, focused as this possible. This doesn't seem like a big deal. So it won't take too much time. Yeah, this really doesn't seem like a big deal, and man. I'm sorry to say. Being is also divided into three main categories. First okay. one being my family and friends, second one being my girlfriend, and third one being my stress levels and my yep. work life. Family and friends simply means that I think I need some support from them and I want to get as many good memories during the summertime as possible so when the leveling gets really hard I can go back into my memories and maybe some of these videos I'm going to make what? and get my mind off the leveling process for what? both meets. Then my girlfriend means that, well, I have a girlfriend. I really hope that I have also a girlfriend after I'm done with this. So I'm sort of <laughs> preparing her for all this. And you just have to let her know, you know, tell her you're going on vacation. Meaning that because I have quite a lot of work, I really need to figure some things out and fix my work life so that I can be away for the time it, it's going to take. And I don't want to have any any stress because I think the leveling experience is going to be quite stressful itself. Not at all. And it's going to be easy. Ways I'm going to sort of reduce my stress and try to get my head straight. Is spending a lot of time in nature during the summertime because it helps. And the goal of the mental well-being side is mainly that I really need to be able to continue my life before and after the leveling process. Because 
I really cannot afford playing 10 plus hours a day anymore. It's not that big of a deal. I'm playing the game after I'm level 6, like, but I think I will go quite casual. Maybe like maximum couple of hours a day. Maybe do some raiding. Yeah, this is a joke. Raiding, but just, <coughs> sorry, mainly just enjoying the game and feeling the game. Okay. I'm going to make longer videos about all of the preparation process. So yeah, if you're interested, you are going to see more. The preparation inside Azeroth will be learning the leveling routes and how to level as fast as possible. Okay. And trying to learn the class I'm going to play. Which is Man, this shit, like, because I, have never played I feel like that he's Final making it out to be so much of a bigger thing, well. dude. And this is like nothing. Also perfecting ga the gameplay so well that I can play even when I'm asleep. Which I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this happen. is nothing. But all this will be more relevant. What the fuck? I'm a bit closer to the actual launch because I don't have a beta invite yet. Please, please, sir, give me a beta uh -huh. invite. And I really hope that there's going to be some kind of open beta so I can get There's in. not going to uh, be an open beta. Myself. It's not going to happen. There's no way it's going to happen. I will be just watching a lot of <laughs> guide videos and trying to perfect my gameplay without actually playing the game. It's, does it make sense? Maybe. Uh, okay. As you might see already, I'm really about to go Mythic Plus. Although Mythic Plus is quite easy. Wait, what? I'm really about to go pre nerf Cthulhu over here. Okay, there we go. Preparation. And I really cannot wait to get started with this preparation. So yeah, if any of this feels interesting to you, feel free and join my journey. I will be filming the whole preparation process. Okay. And then when Classic comes out, I will be streaming the whole leveling process. But for now, if you find this interesting, if you want to follow my journey, if you want to see what's going to happen to This is the longest 10 minutes of my life. I'm done watching that video. Like, it just takes so long. Like, uh, alright, let's- Bruh. Surprise, motherfucker. My killers! My killers will not take no for an answer.